Hi there, I'm Elizabeth and today we're going to talk all about the 10 must-have shots from a wedding day. With all of the events going on on a wedding day, it can be really easy to lose sight of what you, as a photographer, should be focusing on. For example, when you're in the prep area, you don't want to miss some really great candid shots of the bride while you're over in the corner taking photos of the invitations, for example. So let's go ahead and list out the 10 must-have shots from a wedding day. Number one is, of course, the in the prep. The bride getting ready and the groom getting ready. So you're going to want to really pay attention in the prep area to get some great candid photos of the bride with her bridesmaids and you know whether that's with lacing up the dress, putting on her jewelry, um, you know putting on her earrings or you know just some really nice candid shots and on the other side on the groom's side you're going to want to get some can candid shots of the groom with his groomsmen whether they're having a toast or whether they're sharing a beer, there's usually a few stories going around. So just some really nice candid shots. Number two is the dress. So much time is, and care and attention has put into choosing the perfect dress. So you want to make sure you get that dress into some great light and you know capture all the details, the front of the dress, the back of the dress, any of the beading that's on the bodice of the dress. Um, just get some really nice photos of the dress. Number three is a formal photo of the bride and her bridesmaids. So after everybody's ready, the hair, the makeup, the dresses are all on, they all have their bouquets and you want to get them lined up for a great formal photo of the bride with her bridesmaids. Number four on the other side is a formal photo of the groom with his groomsmen. I usually fit this in right before the ceremony. Um, when I arrive to the ceremony site, I just take them aside, they're all there. I take them aside and get the formal photo there. Number five is walking down the aisle. So right before starting to walk down the aisle or just as the bride starts to walk down the aisle with her, with whoever's giving her away, whether it's her father, her mother, or somebody else, or her by herself, you want to you know, get a great photo of her walking down the aisle. At this time, I also swing around and get a photo of the groom as he's waiting for his bride to walk down the aisle. Number six. Number six is the first kiss. So during the ceremony, you know when the first kiss is coming up, you want to make sure you are front and center with your 70 to 200 lens on so you can get a great photo of them with their first kiss as husband and wife. Number seven. Number seven is the recession. So after the ceremony's done, the papers have been signed, there's a big sigh of relief because, ah, oh, it's done. It's, it's, that's the hardest part. It's like the summit of the mountain. Um, so they're on their downhill, they're, there's great big smiles, they're happy, they're, you know, and their recession and the nerves are all gone, so you want to get a picture of them coming back. Number eight is the bouquet. So usually the bouquet is fresh flowers, they're beautiful, a lot of care has taken, been put into choosing the colors of the bouquet. You want to get a great photo of the bouquet. Uh, I usually at this time have the bride hold the bouquet front and center and you know just really get a really nice tight photo of the bride of the uh, of the bouquet number nine is an overview site of the venue so when you get to the when you get to the uh, reception site uh, whether it's in a building or outdoors you want to get a photo of an overview photo of the site before it's you know there's guests and uh caterers or you know other people that are in the photo you want to just get a nice bare uh, photo of the venue site after it's all set up uh, number 10 is the first dance so by this time in the evening usually people are pretty relaxed the reception's over it's time to party get down and boogie uh, you want to get a picture of the first dance and this can be it really depends on the couple they can be a very romantic couple or they can be uh, you know a party couple uh, you know, so you want to get a, you want to capture that first dance uh, as your tenth must-have shot. So there you have it, the ten shots that you need at every wedding. Uh, I hope that this was helpful. And attached to this video uh, below, I'm going to put a link for a full comprehensive list of all shots. Uh, you know that you can strive to get. It's a, it's a, 
you know, a lot of shots you may not be able to get just because they, they aren't shots. Um, but down below the video, download it if you want, and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye for now.